one, it's your boy Cool JC. Coming live direct for Trap News. Friday night, I'm coming home from work. I'm listening to Sports Talk Radio. And they was talking about Muhammad Ali. Some consider him the greatest of all time. Some consider him the people champ. Me personally, I don't think he was the greatest of all time. I would have to put him in. I have to, with all due respect, even though he beat this guy, George Foreman, I still say, in my eyes, George Foreman is the, the greatest heavyweight I laid eyes on. But nonetheless, I digress. Um, Muhammad Ali was an icon, man. I mean, I remember my first laid eyes on boxing. They was talking about him. Doc- they did a documentary on him. And I remember seeing this guy, man. I was like, man, this guy had so much fire. So much, he had so much passion about being black. Being who he is. And I gravitated towards that. Because I didn't see the athlete doing that. But nonetheless, you know, Muhammad Ali, man, he was, he was, he was internationally known. And I think he'll be internationally missed. You know, his, his life wasn't all peaches and cream either, so, you know, it was some controversy surrounding his life. Some things he said and some things he did. You be the judge, you know, you make that decision. And you, you judge the man off that. But here's the one thing that I judge Muhammad Ali on still to the day. Back when they had scripts and everything for not going to, to the Vietnam War. You know, it was, a, it was a, uh, another heavyweight boss by the name of Joe Frazier who came and assisted him in his time of need. So I see all that say this, man. I, I feel like, you know, and you know, he, he made some con- he made some controversial comments toward Joe Frazier, man. Like calling him a gorilla. You know, just saying stuff like. It was almost like he was he was he was he was cooling almost for the white people when he was saying it. Now I don't I don't believe he really meant that stuff per se. And I think it was at that time back then that he was just he's one of those guys that he just talked a lot. And eventually when you talk a lot, you're gonna end up saying some stuff that you're gonna end up regret. And when he called Joe Frazier the gorilla man, I think that and I think that that colorism, you know really ugly head from uh, Muhammad Ali. But I, you know, when I look at it, in that time he did say it, and this is the reason why I say I don't put too much emphasis on it, because you gotta look at it. It was coming out of time where they were still probably doing blackface. And, and knowing him, he was probably, those images was, you know, seared in his brain that that's the way he seen a dark-skinned person was depicted. On television, so I see all that say this here. Him, him being a man that loved and stood up for black people, like he said he did. And I guarantee, you if he could come back now to Earth, and he'll take back one thing he did, I bet you it'll be that. And I, I think still to this day, Joe Frazier didn't. Then accept his apology. I think he made. I think Muhammad Ali made many attempts to apologize, but I don't think Joe, Joe Frazier was feeling it. And, and it's sad that Joe Frazier passed before the guys could really sit down and, and, and talk about the, you know, hash their differences and come together, man, and share one beautiful moment with us before they did walk up to the sunset. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. I dedicate the video, man, to uh, Joe Frazier. And Muhammad Ali, man. Two great fighters that we dearly miss. So I say this, man. Y'all rest in peace. Do what you do. Cool JC.